Hello Indie Game Fans, the Game Developers Conference is currently going on in San Francisco, where an adjacent showcase or event for indie games is that of the Media Indie Exchange, or the MIX for short, celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, so a huge congratulations to the team on the milestone. They have once again brought the heat with awesome indie games, so here are my top 10 picks, minus a couple of titles that I'm saving for specific genre videos. Let's begin with Chinso Club, an action platformer fighter that does seem to be PvE focused, with a story campaign as well as co-op support. It has you battling your way through the world and bosses, with some fantastic looking pixel art which is surprisingly gory. The developers have revealed three characters so far, which do seem to play quite differently depending on their weapons, with the incorporation of almost Smash Brothers style platform fighter controls into an action platformer sure looks like fun. World's Worst Handyman does appear to be an attempt at recapturing the magic of Untitled Goose Game, so I do hope that they nail the humour with a narrated trailer, so enjoy. He should never be anywhere near a hammer. While he's trying his best to fix items, he's causing more damage than repairs. He'll need your help to find the right tools to complete tasks, all while dodging workplace hazards. Can you pull it off and save the shelter? Or are you chicken? One of the best looking trailers of this bunch is Paladins, which unfortunately does not show off the gameplay, so I have to insert some screenshots myself. It is essentially a choose your own adventure game, D&D style, with co-op support for up to 4 players, looking like a delight. A long in development title is Read Only Memories Neuro Diver, an adventure game where you play as a psychic detective, being the sequel to a game from 2015, where I do have a good feeling that 2022 will be the year of release. From the opening seconds of this trailer, I'm sure that you'll be able to tell the inspiration of Advent Neon looking to combine the blue blur with the blue bomber in a title that looks absolutely fantastic. The action looks great, with combat looking a lot more involved than a typical 2D Sonic game, with flashy omnidirectional attacks and plenty of jumps and strikes. This game looks very fast based on the character's movement speed, so if you do love action platformers, keep an eye on this. From super intense to super chill, Spirit Swap is an action puzzle game that has you swapping tiles and making matches, all set to some chill lo-fi beats which is pretty clever if you think about it. I know that the lo-fi beats YouTube livestream is tremendously popular, so add to that a flow state game like a match 3 puzzle game, and some fantastic art and it looks like you have a winner. Swap spirits 
in the afternoon An underrated title from 2017 is the original Serial Cleaner, where you play as a professional cleaner hired by the mob to clean up crime scenes while avoiding the police, where the developers are back with the sequel Serial Cleaners Plural. This is a single-player stealth action title where you are contracted to do the same, having to dispose of bodies, evidence and pools of blood, all while avoiding the cops. There are now four characters with unique abilities, although the art style has changed from a cartoony look to more realistic 3D which I'm not really a fan of. However, stealth games are difficult to come by, making this one of interest. Kind folks. A city where humankind and monster folks live in peace has been taken over by a cruel monster folk general and given birth to a new era of human oppression and violence. Can you and the Adventurers Guild defeat Dalok and the evil at the heart of the city? A great looking title is Kind Folks, one that has a story set up that sure seems like Undertale, and of course, crosses that with Slay the Spire and a dose of Adventure Type. However, what is most interesting about this game is that it is a real-time deck builder instead of a turn-based one, so combat does seem to be more intense. It does however have that very familiar rook-like structure, but it looks different enough to be of interest. I was so happy to see Creature Keeper pop up during this showcase since it is a title that I've been looking forward to for a very long time, showing up in both my Monster Taming and Zelda style games videos, with a Steam page being live so go ahead and drop it a wishlist. This has you exploring the world and battling in real time like a Zelda game, but adds in a monster taming element where you can befriend these creatures and have them fight alongside with you. The pixel art is fantastic, with what looks to be a wonderfully made bestiary to fill up as well, but the only downside is that its release window is 2023, so we'll have to wait a little for this. If you folks know me, you will not be surprised to see Being and Becoming take the number one spot since this is a grimdark pixel art metroidvania which is my favourite combination of art style and genre. There is an otherworldly quality to this game where you play as the lucid dreamer in a world corrupted by the collective dream, having to defeat and consume the souls of the corrupted in order to put an end to endless slumber. I love the enemy designs and the art, so as a fan of all things Metroidvania, it takes the number one spot. For more Metroidvania games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.